Probably the biggest and most talked about cause of vaginal dryness is dropping estrogen levels. And this happens most often during and after menopause. If you want to know what you can do internally with diet, supplements, and lifestyle to boost those estrogen levels as much as possible and in the safest way possible, stick around because that's what we're talking about in today's video. Hi, I'm Dana Lavoie, an acupuncturist, herbalist, and founder of Menopause Basics. And I love helping women learn to boost and balance their hormones naturally from the inside out. Because this is the, this is the first step you want to take in increasing your lubrication and overcoming vaginal dryness. This is exactly what Chinese medicine loves. It's what Asian women all know growing up. It basically should have been in a handbook that every single woman received when she got her first period, but most of us never did. So here it is, the diet, lifestyle, and supplement basics you need to get the foundation of hormonal balance and reducing or eliminating menopause symptoms and signs of aging, including vaginal dryness. Uh, of course, if you know me already, you know I recommend starting with diet because without the basic building blocks of hormones, you don't really have a chance of making this happen naturally. The right diet is the foundation of helping your body make more hormones like progesterone and healthy estrogens while helping your body detox aggressive estrogens. It will help boost moisture in your whole body. It will help eliminate heat that dries things up. It will help keep your brain and gut healthy. It will feed the local microbiome of your vagina, which is so important, and it will keep the pH of the area correct. It will keep insulin balanced and yeast under control, all of which play a part in healthy nat natural lubrication. So yeah, it's important. So what's the right diet? And I feel like this is where a lot of women get stuck. They don't know what's most important. They either get confused and frustrated and give up because it's too complicated, or they try a diet that's too complicated and hard to follow consistently. Or they go kind of healthy, but because they don't know the most important things to do every day, they don't get much in the way of results. So here's what you want to focus on. Plenty of the healthiest unrefined fats, including things rich in omega-3s and fat-soluble vitamins and foods rich in essential fatty acids like flax seeds. They're one of my favorite superfoods for menopause. Two tablespoons of fresh ground flax seeds a day are going to set you on the right track. You want to eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables every day. Uh, you need a certain percentage of fruits and vegetables in your, in your diet each day. Uh, you want to eat foods that are rich in B vitamins like um, beef liver, sardines, mackerel, lamb, wild-caught salmon, nutritional yeast, feta cheese, and grass-fed beef, or if those aren't your thing, take a really high-quality supplement. You want to drink plenty of pure water every single day for optimal function, and improved hydration will increase the amount of fluids available for internal vaginal moisture. So drink lots of pure fresh spring water, and some herbal teas can be fine as well. Uh, you want to increase your intake of phytoestrogens, which are plant-based estrogens, which are able to mimic our body's own estrogens and can definitely help to increase vaginal moisture. Phytoestrogens can be found in soy products. Uh, the soy isoflavones are great for that, and other food sources such as, guess what, flax seeds, which are also great healthy fats, legumes, which are beans, often have phytoestrogens, nuts, apples, and cherries, just to name a few. Those are all great phytoestrogens. Uh, increasing phytoestrogens in your diet is one of the easiest and most effective ways to combat vaginal dryness. And here's a note on using soy in your diet. Only use soy if you are not allergic or sensitive to it because it is a very common allergen. And the best way to eat soy is to eat a fermented form of soy, like miso, tempeh, or natto, and in relatively small amounts. And only use organic and non-GMO so soy or it will cause just as much damage as benefit. So you also want to eat probiotic-rich fermented foods. So like the natto, miso, and tempeh I was talking about, but also things like kefir and yogurt, and especially fermented vegetables. 
Uh, so if you're ready to get started with the best diet for your hormones, I have a free download. It's called the Menopausal Woman's Roadmap. Definitely grab your free copy. It will just lead you step by step through getting started adding the most important foods to your diet every day. Okay, so once you have the basic diet, let's look at some supplements. So fatty acids, hormones are made of fats. So you cannot make hormones if you don't have enough fatty, healthy fat building blocks. So uh, things like flax seeds and evening primrose oil and fish oil. Estrogenic herbs can be really helpful. Things like black cohosh is a typical one. But honestly, I highly recommended working with a qualified Chinese herbalist to find the combination of herbs that's best for you. The results will be totally worth it. Uh, now, taking a good, really high quality nutritional supplement is, can be really helpful. Low quality vitamins, I don't recommend, um, but a really, really good multivitamin can be really helpful. Uh, and uh, of course, good wholesome foods in the right variety is a great natural source, but if you need an extra kick, a really good vitamin or multimineral supplement can help because vitamin A, beta carotene, and the B vitamins are particularly helpful in beating vaginal dryness, and sometimes a really good quality multivitamin helps you make sure you're getting those every day. Uh, Omega-3 essential fatty acids not only help support the health of the cell membranes in our body, they also help promote hormonal balance as well. So fish oil, evening primrose oil, um, and as I mentioned before, increasing your water intake. And I also want to talk for a minute about hormone replacement therapy because that's something you can certainly do internally to increase your hormone levels if this other stuff isn't enough. So yes, taking hormones internally can boost your estrogen levels and help with dryness, but I highly recommend that you do this only once you have all these other things working for you, your body's own hormone building and balancing systems working as well as possible, uh, and that you work with a really good expert because both of those things, to make sure you're taking the right amounts of the right hormones, because both of those things are going to help make sure that when you take those hormones, uh, your body is turning them into into the healthy forms of estrogen, including the type that goes specifically to your vaginal tissues. Because you can take estrogen and if things aren't processing right in your body, it can go elsewhere and you end up with other problems and not an increase in vaginal moisture. So hormones can help, but they really need to be used with the right diet and with a really good professional prescribing them. Uh, okay, so now that we've got a lot of the good stuff in, there are a few things to avoid. You want to watch out for excess alcohol, coffee, and white sugar. They're going to be very drying. And I know you've, you've heard this before, but menopause is the best time in your life to make these healthy changes. And if you need help doing it once and for all, I'm here for you. This is what I specialize in. So hit me up in my private Facebook group and we'll get started. It's called Menopause Basics and I'll link to it in the comments below. Because a high glycemic diet, which means a sugary diet, causes a cascade of chemical reactions in your body that seriously interferes with hormones and with your natural lubrication. And since we're talking about increasing your healthy estrogens, to do that, you need to actually avoid the unhealthy, aggressive forms, forms of estrogens, like parabens, which are preservatives in personal care products like face cream and makeup, phthalates, which are very often, almost always included in artificial fragrance, even though they're not listed on the label. Uh, it'll say fragrance or perfume, right? It means it has those phthalates in it. Uh, and the BPA in plastic water bottles and plastic food containers, right? And the pesticides in non-organic foods. These are all heavy duty xenoestrogens that can lead to estrogen dominance and definitely mess with your natural lubrication. So we've got diet, we've got supplements, we've got a few things to avoid. Lifestyles matters too. You are a lot more likely to be troubled by vaginal dryness and the loss of lubrication if your adrenals have been exhausted by overuse of coffee, alcohol, white sugar, severe stress, burning the candle at both ends for too long, or the use of drugs like steroids and cortisones. So if this is you, First, start practicing stress management regularly. 
even if it's for one minute a day. And I'm linking below to some videos that I have on my website that are really short, just a couple of minutes long, really powerful little stress management practices that you can do every day. Uh, get some natural sunshine. This is actually healthy for you. Uh, take deep breaths every day. It sounds simple, but it really makes a difference. So every night at bedtime, if you haven't done it yet, sit on the edge of your bed and take 10 deep, slow breaths with a long exhalation. And you know what? Your brain is really powerful. So do things that make you feel sexy and turned on, whether it's foreplay or really silky new sheets or new underwear or a great new no novel or a new vibrator. Get your brain sending out turned on signals and good things will happen chemically in your body that will help with your natural lubrication. And if you don't already know, find out what you like. Get the help that you need, right? This is a really great time to get healthy, to, to take a little time for you. Get the help you need to cut down on or stop smoking or using excess alcohol. And really go over every medication that you're taking with your healthcare practitioner and make sure that all of them are necessary. Find out if there's any that you don't need anymore. In Chinese medicine, almost all prescription medications and over-the-counter medications have the side effect of creating, guess what? Dryness. So keep the ones you absolutely need, but if you're taking any that aren't necessary, see if you can find alternative therapies. Okay, so those are my top recommendations for internal ways you can reduce vaginal dryness. Now, this is the second video in a series that I'm doing on having a great sex life after 50. To watch the whole video series with transcripts, downloads, extra notes, links, and more, be sure to check it out on my blog. The link is in the comments below. In the first video, we covered what vaginal dryness is, what the symptoms are, and how to avoid doing things that actively disrupt your natural lubrication. In today's video, we covered things that you can do internally to combat vaginal dryness. In the next video in the series, we're talking about things you can do externally to combat it. So the best and worst lubes, moisture, moisturizers, and topical hormones, and the ingredients you most want to avoid using so that you don't disrupt the delicate tissues, the pH, and the balance of beneficial bacteria that you need to be healthy down there for natural lubrication. So how to take care of your most delicate tissues. In the fourth video, I have a super special treat. Sex expert Jane Steckbeck is joining us to share her vast experience and her best tips and to answer your questions. And the last video is on increasing libido, a topic close to my heart as a tonic herbalist. So stay tuned and be sure to download your free copy of my Menopausal Woman's Roadmap. It's absolutely step one to getting you started on your journal journey to hormonal health naturally. I'm Dana Lavoie, an acupuncturist herbalist and the founder of Menopause Basics. And thanks so much for joining me today and spending your valuable time with me. It means a huge amount to me. I'm always checking the comments below and please be sure once you grab your free roadmap to share this video with a friend. I will see you soon. Bye for now.